Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 23 of Rootnerd Plays Minecraft. So, last episode we did a little bit with blood magic and I prepared the whole area like I told you guys and then run into a little problem that I wanted to make some magnum torches because lighting up this whole area there and there would be kind of a nonsense and especially with those light sources and with everything else well too much work so let's do a little bit of automation of brewing stands this episode but i ran then into another problem we have extremely a lot of ores they are kind of back stuffing at the moment well there was 17k of uh, iron ore that was not processed there is still 13k of copper ore and some uranium and well nah, kind of we are doing good now but i had to increase the size of our automation of uh, pulverizing and macerating the ores and then also smelting this all the stuff so i made a little bit of an addition here i changed the layout a little bit i made the uh, electricity conduit and the item conduits on top so that i can actually use both sides the uh, upper side and the bottom side of the conduit uh, item conduits to have multiple uh, alloy smelters hooked up to it so they are just as it was before uh, one inserting on the blue channel and one extracting on the uh, green channel and the green channel is then inputting into our me system and this one here is the alloy smelter for the uh, kind of alloys and therefore he is the only one and here is the same with just macerating inserting on purple and the um, macerating and then burning is here for all those and this one is actually again just macerating and i hooked up every one of those with uh octalic capacitor so that they are really fast now uh, for the automation of brewing we need also some uh, way to get water bottles and for that i have prepared a fluid transposer and an me interface and down here i laid some cables come on there is this green line which is hooked up to the main conduit line but i just had green cable in my inventory or in the ME system so I didn't want to make new ones it's the only choice because they are green and uh, I hooked up uh, water conduits from the uh, aqueous accumulator that's hooked up to the uh, obsidian making and here we have the end line and now let's nope not you I actually wanted let's sneak back up and we will do a little bit easier i want you to be there but i want you to be like this okay so uh, on this side we will put the me interface and now because he is inputting water from the bottom and then he is also inputting from the sides which will be the water bottles therefore i placed him like this so that we can actually configure the side here and it's not the front thing that's now hooked up to the rolling machine which we don't need so now let's take uh, item conduit actually i need two of you item conduits Zack. and you are like this so inputting into the me interface and extracting from here and always active and he is outputting on the bottom or on the top sides so now we can tell him okay going down come on tuck, and being down here and telling him 
what a oh, at least bottle do you know how to make those probably not nope so let's have some glass just really quick teaching the system how to make the water bottles and then we should be ready suck and of course you are taking those but mm, suck and water bottles so if we go back up place our water bottle in here he should fill it up please no it's sometimes it's a little bit derpy i know it worked in previous versions of uh, thermal uh, expansion but now it does not seem to work anymore so we have to come up with another solution for water bottles which hmm, autonomous activator probably yeah let me come up with another solution because he is not doing anything anymore but we could tell him buckets of water or buckets if you put them there you get actually out a bucket of water or he should at least why aren't you doing not even buckets he should at least do the buckets but of course i forgot to hook him up to energy and therefore he is not working so energy conduits and plopping down right, so some energy if i can sneak down there Suck. and now you should work yeah and now yeah now he's of course also working with water bottles so water bottle that's actually what i want to see nice so uh, up, telling him if you put one bottle there you get one bottle of water tuck and tuck and now there is the fluid transposer so if we tell him make one water bottle you should be able to do it so tuck making this into the crafting and now water bottles can we make three of you? Yeah, nice. Now I have prepared the brewing stands, so we need three of you. Actually, we could also do it with just one. No, probably. Let me. yeah no let's do it with two times three and we need some more conduits Suck. and then also two chests actually let's upgrade them with iron first and should we do also gold which chests do we have copper of gold iron we already have three silver hmm. yeah so let's do the gold ones gold shouldn't be a problem oh my dear god we have extremely a lot of stuff <laughs> kind of the way I like it so you don't have to worry about uh, actually um, I was thinking about doing something here hmm. we could actually move the uh, computers into those four corners here connect them up here and also here and here 
and the same one here to align which we will do from this side because I was thinking well the alloy smelter thing is full so let's do them up here so that I can access them really easy but from the bottom well actually let me think would look a little bit ugly also with that here uh, yeah no so let's do them up here and therefore we should put let me take a look three brewing stands we have six we need back here we already have energy which we don't need and item line over there yeah guys let me figure out where I want to put all this and then we will be back in just a second guys okay guys I'm back and I want to have it here uh, so I made uh, already a little bit of the stuff there is one conduit line going all this round uh, hooked up to the bottom and to the top of the brewing stands those three here the same on this side those are extracting from an ME interface kind of hope this is working I haven't tested it otherwise we are prepared we have the two gold chests and can put them there but he should theoretically extract everything that he is giving and he can of course also insert then the final products and the same on this side with that interface so we can have on the first one first let's have some water bottles we have uh, I already have them and some nether walls and then let's tell him down here you are in and out inserting on the green channel but only an item filter only water bottles Zack. and you are extracting on the brown channel always active and you up here should be an insert just inserts on the green channel with an item filter of nether walls so this should make us the awkward potion so let's test it really quick coming down here and telling him well, three water bottles and one nether ward of course we need them also here because we have to make them first of course I always forget that so suck and you have three water bottles and a nether ward and make me a water bottle or the awkward potion and you are always active so I hope he knows only to take out the awkward potion probably mm, okay so we have to at least you are extracting because of course you don't have anywhere to go which would be extracting, inserting on the brown channel and extracting on the blue channel never active or of course always active and of course we have to tell him only to take out let's take a look uh, the gas suck and snagging one extra water bottle 
and styling him now. Okay, awkward potion. Let's snag eel. Zack and extracting, of course, only awkward potions. Otherwise, he would pull out the wrong thing. He don't need an input filter, uh, but an extract filter. Zack and come on, awkward potion, gas deal. So now he is cooking up and similar thing here and uh, you will be in and out, insert on the blue channel. Uh, of course I should have waited, I uh, luckily didn't waste that, but you are Waiting with extracting for the moment. So, zack, never active. And sneaking back the awkward potions, and now he is cooking up. Yeah, kind of a dope here on my side. Now, the same thing we have to do on the back side, which I then will do off camera, but I wanted to show you guys at least once how you can do this. So, zack, and how are you with cooking? Regeneration potion, nice. So you, of course, are only extracting, whitelisting, regeneration potions, and now you can be always active. And you back here will be, uh, of course, um, ghasts. I have them in my inventory, but I need it. Uh, kind of forgot what I needed. So you are extracting on the purple channel. You are always active and whitelisting nothing. And then I will tell you and of course I needed the glowstone. Now I know what I wanted. Mm, inserts only gas here, zack, and then you here are also inserting but only glowstone, so sneaking to the glowstone, zack, and now glowstone, and you can cook it up. Uh, I already did you, zack, glowstone, cooking up everything and now we will then tell him here that he will be inserting on violets, purple, that color, that's, the, nah, of course. I always forget, or m most of the times, that you have to shift left click, not right click, so yeah. Come on, how are you? Regeneration to nice. And you down there will extract only regeneration to potions. Nice. And that will be on the purple channel and you hopefully should be able to do it like I want you. And you will be ex nope. Extract green, yeah, but yes, inserting on purple. So now they should get snagged back into here, which is going directly into our system here. And now if we tell him down here, three water bottles, a nether ward, a gas tier, which I have in my inventory, and a glowstone. Regen narration will give you three of you. Zack and now interface which nothing. Hmm, yeah, now it will be a little bit tricky to find out which one. So let's put it directly into here and zack. 
and now we should be able to put regeneration potion two let's make one and now let's take a look if he is doing stuff not here So yeah, he is not outputting them directly into the line, so we have to get a little trickery with the chests. Zack. Let's snag you, put in a chest here, and now you should put that in here. Nice. Now we have to... Uh, now... would be nice to have a normal interface or we can just hook him up here hmm. you are only inserting so we should be fine if we do this here and you will be purple and you can extract on purple so now we just have the problem that you here are a little bit tricky now hmm. Let's test it first here with that. So south is extracting green, always active, and you should have everything now. Purple. Yeah, you are doing that. You have the gas deal, and you have the close down, and at the end of the day, we should have the regeneration potions. Nice. Now. I have just to think about how I can input it here correctly without uh, maybe hmm. if I maybe arrange it a little bit different let me take a look if we input it from the bottom we could actually have both sides here somehow hooked up which would be nice so yeah let me do that so snagging you and you and you and you come down here with me to here and here and you will be here there with the pattern in you where are you Zack. and now snagging you placing you and you and also you nice coming back up here so now we can have with the item conduits Zack. A line connecting no now of course he would connect to this line hmm. Hmm. or we could actually sneak him into a line here which would be then going into our main line, so it has to be green. Nah. That's not nice. Hmm. So a little bit of troubleshooting, guys. I hope you don't mind. It's always nice to see how you can solve your problems. So, yeah. 
if we would rearrange him somehow or we could also put this whole line one out here oh no ah, dope again why don't I just do this here Suck and you are disconnecting and you and also you and then you are connecting back here Suck. looks kind of a little bit ugly but meh could actually no I can't so nothing with that so suck and eliminating and now I have to do the same thing on this side with all the configuration and a lot of clicking and it's just the same just with the next uh, potion that I want to make and therefore I will make a little cut now and be back in just a second guys okay guys I'm back making the last chandelier and having prepared our QAD that we already made a few episodes back I made two end of flux crystals more so that it's looking a little bit more symmetrical and now I already have the regeneration 2 potion and the instant health potion in there and let's put them here and he is now starting to do his work and building the magnum torch for us which is really nice because it is a torch that prevents monsters from spawning in a really really big radius and therefore yeah so guys what did I do with our blood altar well I kind of prepared for the maximum tier so that I know the boundaries of it and we will come to how you can do it step by step after we upgrade well our stuff here but first I want to take a look 17 <sighs> probably well I could do a quick peek ah yeah I got us some emeralds which was really hard to find them so yeah so how are we for the ritual diviner this one and now we can make one nice and with that we just well of course uh, ah, no he does not need to be bind on you so yeah so no why aren't you hmm you no he should be changing his ritual mm, new types of rituals cannot replace task runes that I know ritual tune to face north oh no not ritual ID yeah why aren't you changing the rituals he should actually change the rituals if you simply right click somewhere yeah so if you click on a block you can change the size and hmm. strangely yeah let me figure out between the episodes what's wrong with the diviner and then I will tell you guys so putting the second one in here and now I want to show you where I want to have my magnum torches kind of want them to be on the columns or between the columns somewhere maybe here there should be the magnum torch and the same on the other side 
It wouldn't be needed if I would place him in the middle here, but um, maybe. I don't have the exact uh, size specifications. I think it's about one trunk on each side, so it should be enough, but yeah, let's not get into trouble with monster spawning and just make two of them because we can, we have the resources for it. So how are you doing? Actually already finished, nice. So placing you in there and now sneaking back, placing the second one down, that will be also here on the second column, Zack. and now what are you doing here? Zack. And now there should be no monster spawning on those platforms and actually pretty much nowhere near those vicinity maybe somewhere here i will place maybe a third magnum whoop leg and i will place down a third magnum torch but for now guys i think that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and next episode we will finally get to some more blood magic if I can figure out what's wrong with the ritual diviner because he should be able to change rituals so that we don't have to place them by ourselves but meh kind of little bit buggy it seems maybe if we well yeah yeah let me figure it out guys and uh, next episode we will make the wireless terminal and some rituals hopefully and also I think we will move all our botania stuff to our platform there maybe make also already a tower kind of haven't decided it yet how much time and how much effort I want to input uh, at that moment because I want to show you guys some more progression and if I do building well it's kind of needing some some time and also some design ideas which I don't have at the moment so let's do some more automation okay guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the episodes if yes please let a like there and I would also so appreciate a subscribe and of course any feedback would be welcome let me know in the comments what you want to see how you liked it and so on and so on okay guys thanks for watching and bye bye